Yes, 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 Remnant. Bless the name of Jesus. As we can see, we are at our famous spring. I am not going to call the name because I don't want to get my, my spring, you know. Our spring out there in the world like that because, you know, everybody mind, you know, is, 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 you know, pure. And so we can see the water running. Very cool and nice. Refreshing. You understand? This is my water. This is my running water. You know, daily. You know, daily, daily. This is our water that we really drink. You understand? Bless the name of Jesus. But today I want to talk to you on um, a topic. You know, this, this video is for the young. This video is for the old. But, but, you know, the Lord was ministering to me a few months ago. Because I was supposed to share with a group of young people. And um, it didn't work out, you know, and, you know, I have the urge that I still need to do this and get it out there, you know, to encourage some young people, you know, to encourage even the older folks to understand that, you understand, we must run to win. And so please, you know, instead of watching a movie, you know, you know, this is healthy for you. This is, you know, to encourage you. This is to motivate you. You know, this is to edify you know, you know, each and every one. The word of God says that we must edify each other. And so please, you know, at the end, you know, you will find that, you know, it was your time well spent. Because this video is about sharing two experiences that I had in the past. I run two specific races in my lifetime. One of the races, I, 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 I remember when I run that race, I was in grade 11. You know, my last year in secondary school at the time, Oroko Besa Secondary School at Galena. You know, I believe that was about in the year 1995. And um, if I'm wrong, those who there know me and, you know, maybe you used to go to school with me, you can share in the comment section, you know, correct me. You know, and I'm going to share about another race. The difference about both races. Um, at the Mushet High School in Trelawney, where you know you know that race you know it was at a youth camp you know and i also participated in that race and i just want to share with you what the lord has been ministering to me about those two races and so let me begin by saying that what the lord has been showing me is that in the body of christ bless the name of jesus uh, uh, uh um you have three set of people three main set of people um you have those who are in the stands, like spectators. You have those who are, you understand, on the track. You understand? They are really going to participate in the race. But what the Lord is showing me that the two different sets on the track are one set is just there to participate in the race. And you have another set that is literally running to win. And that is the topic for this video today. You know, run to win. Um, I want to begin by saying that um, a few years ago, um, as I said in 1995, sorry, when, 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 when I was at Galena and we were, you know, it was a sports event where I, I, just, I just went to, 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 to have fun. You know, at the time I, I had, you know, a lot of friends. And I didn't need a track and field to be popular because, you know, my popularity came through playing football, you know, um, singing and doing other stuff at school. And so there was this guy, you know, you know, going to school, I used to watch him, you know, training, you know, morning and evening he was training, running up and down steps. And he was always training because this is where he got his hype from whenever it comes on to sports day and so he would always be training and um and so when the day came when the day came i remember i i was there and you know the the, the numbers all the houses i was in red house and i remember that the the, the, the the numbers was close coming down to the end and mr white who was my 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 farm teacher he called me and he says um birdie i heard that that that, that, that you can do a little thing you know and we need help at this time. We, 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 don't, don't tell me that you're not gonna you're not gonna participate. We just want somebody in the race. If it's even one point, if you even come last, it no matter. 
we just want you in the race. And I remember um, I borrowed somebody's shorts the day. And I got the shorts on and um, I went into the race. And, you know, I said, okay, you know, I don't have to win or anything. And I remember it was two times around the field. And um, I remember when we started, I was just keeping up with the boys, keeping up with the boys, keeping up with the boys. And um, it was about seven of us in the race. And I remember while I was there going around the first time, I felt in my body that, you know, you know, I, I can do this. And so I remember I run past a few of them until I get up to, you know, third in the race. And I remember Dino, there was a guy in the race that was by the name of Dino. He was teasing me um, when I was, you know, you know, when I went on the, the, the field to participate the day. And, you know, he was laughing at me. And I remember he was before me at second. And when I remember, you know, him teasing me, you know, I, I, I pushed and I passed him. And when the bell ring for the final lap, I remember, you know, start to putting out. And the other guys started to come up, you know, and I was just there, you know, keeping up with the guy, you know, that he was always training. I don't remember his name. And believe it, my brothers and sisters, at the final stretch, I saw him started to wobble. I, start, I saw him started to struggle. And I remember, I remember I, 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 you know, I was catching up to him. And something started to say, but, but look at this. It seemed as if I can actually win this. And I remember when I push out and I push out and I push out and I put, put more in. I was now rubbing shoulder to shoulder with this guy. Shoulder to shoulder. And I remember, you know, I started to feel tired myself. Remember, I was not training for this or anything. And at the end of the race, he only pushed out his neck. Just, just a little push out. And he barely beat me by a small margin. And after the race was over, you know, you know, you know, I, you know, everybody was cheering for me and everything. And so I started to get the feel of what it is, you understand, you know, to, 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 to be celebrated in that, in that, um, um, event you know and brothers and sisters at the end of the day i i believe that i could have won the race if i had went in the race with you know you know with a mindset to win the race years after that i remember going to um, attending a youth camp the assemblies of holiness youth camp in mushet and we had sports day and um it was on a saturday before banquet and um I remember at the time, they asked me, you know, to participate in a race. Our youth camp, we normally used to have where all the conferences meet in Kaiser every year. So we know all the guys who could really run. The champion boy was during the race, Kenny from A. Woodall at that time. And um, Asif from Falmouth. A lot of guys that they, they were real good runners. And so they said, Birdie, go in the race, man. We just want, you know, you know. To make up numbers you know and i said okay i'm here to have fun and stuff so i went in the race and while i was in the race again a lot of the guys was teasing me because nobody don't know me as any runner and standing on uh, 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 at the starting line i remember something took me over where he just come over me and said i want to win this race i want to feel what it is like to win this race i really would love to win this race and so when the whistle blow the day, I sped off. And believe me, brothers and sisters, when I started the race, I was in full flight. It was one time around the track. And so when I peeked back and realized that the guys was, you know, dragging the first, um, the first part of the race, I, put, I started to put out all engine blowing, full speed. And, you know, when the boys realized that I was blazing around the track, um, Kenny decided that he's coming after me. And by the time I reached the final third, heading into the final stretch, brothers and sisters, you know, I just start to feel this strong passion more and more that I need to win this race. When I look at the finishing line, all those who in my house, all those who in my group, was on the finish line, at the finishing line, cheering me on, waiting for me. And you see, when I saw that, 
everybody was shouting birdie 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 and i heard my name and you know and i felt at this point i felt my flesh started to say no i can't hold out any longer i felt my muscles crying there was pain all over my body but there was just this strong passion i need to win this race and brothers and sisters i continue to put all in the race all in the race even when my lungs was giving up and said enough is enough i remember putting everything in the race and i remember i could i could hear kenny breathing down my, my, my neck I could, it was like a runaway train coming behind me. And believe it, brothers and sisters, I, 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 I crossed the finishing line, first place. And even though I fell on my face and I slid on my face and everything that day, all those who were in my house, they came and they, they, they took me up. And everybody was celebrating. And um, the Lord, you know, remembering, remembering this experiencing, the Lord, you know, was ministering to me about these two races. And the first race was a race that when I entered that race, my motive was not in the right place. I just entered the race to please men. I, I just entered the race um, just to fill in a gap. And I believe that, you know, based on what the Holy Spirit is showing me, a lot of people are in the body of Christ. But, but, but the, motive, the, the, the motives are wrong. You know, maybe young people, a lot of you are, 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 are a part of a church because maybe you, 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 your mother is, a, is in leadership. Maybe your father is the pastor. You know, maybe, you know, you know, a lot of guys, you know, over the years I experienced, a lot of guys go to church because, you know, they want to find a nice church girl. A lot of girls go to church because they want to find a nice church husband maybe a minister maybe a preacher maybe a musician and so many times the motives are wrong and what the lord is showing me that once you don't have the right mindset as a believer remnant you will have no chance in winning the race your motive must be spot on and so the the last race that i ran at youth camp the one that i won Bless the name of Jesus. From the beginning, I entered the race to win. My mindset was to win. And because of that, I gave it all that I got. And you see, heading into the final stretch, you know, when I, when I remember everybody celebrating, awaiting me on the finishing line, believers, you know, I can imagine Paul. I can imagine Joseph. I can imagine all the patriarchs that has gone before us, you know, on the finishing line, you know, awaiting us, cheering us on as we run this race. I, 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 I can see um, David and all these guys, you know, cheering us on. You understand what I mean? And with the right, with the right mindset, believers, with the right mindset, we can win this race. Because once we enter this race, young people, I'm talking to you. Once we enter this race, we, we have the opportunity. There's a chance for us to win. But it's something that uh, um, Jimmy Cliff did this song, we can't get it if we really want. And the only reason why I'm in this race today is because I want to know what it is like to win. I don't want to be a spectator. A lot, as I said, three set of people are in the, in the body of Christ, the Lord show me. Those who are in the stands. And they are deceived. Because when you watch boys and girls champs, a lot of people who are waving flags and stuff, they really believe that they are part of the glory. But the truth is that they are not. A lot of people that are in the race, you understand what I mean? Just to, to, to be a part of the race. They are just in the race, but they are actually not a part of getting a part of the glory. Because... A pacemaker is only there to just start off the race, but eventually they, 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 they go, they run off the sideline and leave the, 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 the other athletes to finish the race. I don't want to be a, a pacemaker. I want to talk about a pacemaker. I remember at Beijing, and I want to finish here. I remember at Beijing with Asafa Powell. The difference with Asafa Powell and Usain Bolt is that Asafa Powell had a bullet start. And in that race, Usain Bolt, you understand, 
his first Olympic run in the 100. I believe that he was just as nervous as everybody else. But Usain Bolt wanted to win. Usain Bolt have a kind of hype where Usain Bolt want to be number one. He wanted to be the champion. And so even though Tyson Gay was there as as previous previous world champion, even though um um um, um Justin Gatlin and, and 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 maybe the others, I don't believe Justin Gatlin won is in the race, but there were other um um superstar that was there that could give Usain Bolt a challenge. But he was not concerned about the competitors around him. He was fully focused. I want to be number one, and so. The world eyes was on Usain Bolt and Asafa Powell in the race. Asafa Powell was known as the world record holder. My God Almighty, Asafa Powell, his fastest time was, I believe, 9.72. He, he, he was a man keep breaking the record over and over. And what happened is that when they went down on their mark and they get set and the gun went off, Asafa Powell, he went out as usual with his bullet start. But you know what? When Asafa Powell felt the pressure of Usain Bolt coming down behind him, Asafa Powell, he could not hold out. He could not maintain that bullet speed that he started with. And so I want to pause here to share with many of you in church at this time. It's not about the start young people it is not about the bullet start many people start out real good many people started out with the hype they started out with the fame many people started out uh, uh, um, with a lot of praises bless the name of jesus but the reality is that is the ending that counts because when pressure start to reach asafa powell we watch when Asafa Powell started to wobble a matter of fact asafa powell did not even make the podium Bless the name of Jesus. But Usain Bolt who was fully focused. Usain Bolt who wanted to experience glory. Young people, let me pass for a minute to ask. How many of you who want to experience the splendor of heaven? As you watch this video, how many of you who are out there who are truly desiring to leave this wretched, dark, cold world one day and, and witness the pleasures of heaven, witness uh, the streets of gold, witness the angels, witness being around the patriarchs, witnessing standing before the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, knowing that you're in the presence of God for eternity. When you see Bolt run that day, his eyes was only on the prize. You see him both wanted glory. And bless the name of Jesus. When you see him both glimpse and he realized that he was way ahead of all the guys. I remember you see him both beating his chest as he crossed the finishing line in style. You understand what I mean? And I want to point this out to you. Many Jamaicans was in the it, 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 was, was in Beijing at Beijing at the time. They were in the stadium. They were in their Jamaican colors. They were waving their, their Jamaica a flag. And at the end of the day, in spite of the joy as Jamaican to watch a Jamaican win that race that day in world record style, none of these people who were spectators can never truly experience what Usain Bolt experienced that day. Only Usain Bolt can experience that glory, that feeling for himself. The only man that can get the taste of what it is like to win that race that day. 9.69 in record style was Usain Bolt. And so it's, it's, to be a spectator doesn't make, really make it. You understand? To be in the, just to be in the race, not really make it. It's all about getting up on the podium. And on that day, Asafa Paul could have, could have gotten a taste of the glory. Because when you run at the Olympics or in the World Championship, once you make it on the podium, you're a part of the glory. Because once your national flag raised behind you, it, you're a part of the glory. You're getting a medal. Whether silver, gold or bronze, you're getting a medal. And when they questioned Asafa Powell after the race, and they said, Asafa Powell, what really went wrong in this race? Asafa Powell said, I don't know, but my legs died on me. I will never forget that as long as I live because I am an 
ass of a pole fan. Even until this day. But at the end of the day, it says my legs. I don't know, but my legs died on me. Asafa Powell, he was not mentally prepared for the race that he had before him in Beijing that day. And my question, and, 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 and I want to just say to you out there, young people, talking to you now, is that I believe that many are out there who are truly unprepared, underprepared, because we have been through decades of prosperity gospel. We have been through years of prosperity where we are just taught in our time. And I, and I am saying this from experience, where it's all about God people must prosper. Many are not taught about this, this side of suffering. Many are not taught about this the, 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 the side of struggle. Many are not taught about the people of God. We must suffer persecution. And so we are only taught when we hear testimony, God people fi, fi left out a wash pan and, and we must have washing machine. God people fi come out a cold stove and we must have stove and we, we must come out a using fan and have heat condition. God people must supposed to live luxurious. And, for, and you know, what the enemy has done is that he has messed up the mindset of the body of Christ. Where we only focus on prosperity. And so there's a race that is ahead of us. And right at this time, the body of Christ, we are heading in the final stretch at this time. And the question today is, young and old, are we truly running to win? Next question, do we truly understand the race that we are running? Because what I'm seeing at this time is that many believers don't even have a clue the race that they are truly required to run. Because what I'm seeing is like, we are told that the race is just going to be a 60 meter. Real quick and fast. And imagine you train yourself, you prepare yourself for years just to run a 60 meter. But when you actually go to the event, you are told at the starting line that it's not really a 60 meter. It's, 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 a, it's, a, uh, it's a 800. It's an 800 event. Imagine that you will be feeling even before the race starts. Brothers and sisters, I am imploring you, let us prepare ourselves. The only way we can prepare ourselves is in prayer and fasting in the word. We're not supposed to be putting anything at this time before God. We're not, young people, we're not supposed to be put in school before Bible study. We're not supposed to be put in school before prayer. We're not supposed to be put in school right at this time. We're not supposed to be putting nothing in this world above our spiritual side of life. Put God first and let us prepare ourselves. Because as I intend to win, I trust the Lord that each and every one of you will position yourself to win. That we all can experience glory at the end. I, I trust the Lord that you will leave a comment at the end. Leave a comment. I would like for you, for you to talk back to me. You know, those who have not subscribed to the channel as, yet, channel as yet, I ask that you will subscribe. And just have a blessed day in Jesus' name.